What's up everybody, my name is Gidra and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix issues with your Razer mice, um, specifically if the mouse just like shuts off or freezes, stutters, um, all that good stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure you have is Razer Synapse installed um, and you're going to want to make sure it's like the latest version by checking for updates. Razer Synapse is awful, but if you don't have it installed when you use your mouse, it's just going to feel really like laggy and choppy and just like terrible. So make sure that's installed. Make sure pulling rate is at 500. And then there's um, like multi steps to fixing the known issues with it. So if your mouse is turning off, you're going to want to go to the start menu and then type in a device manager.exe or find it in the control panel. And then when you get into device manager, you're going to go down to your USB controllers tab and every single one of these that will allow it you're going to right click go to properties and then power management and you're going to want to make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked and then click OK. You're going to want to do that for every single USB uh, controller no matter like what it is. Some of them don't have it but that's going to stop your mouse from just like randomly turning off um, by your power plant or some, you know, I, I, I'm not sure what causes it, but this is how you fix it type of thing. And then also in your mice and uh, your keyboards for your mouse as well, uh, make sure that it's not like on. Allow this device to wake the computer is, is fine because that's what you want like when you touch your mouse from uh, the screensaver to wake it. But uh, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You want to make sure that is unchecked for all of your Razer stuff. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go to services.exe or just uh, services on Windows 10. And you're going to scroll down to the Razer Game Scanner. I actually just like deleted this from the folder. But you're going to want to... Um, right click this, go to property, well, I have it uninstalled, okay, I get it, stop yelling at me! Okay, you're going to want to right click uh, the, the game scanner and then set that to disabled and stop it. Uh, like I said, I deleted this from the folder, so if you want to do that, go to your Razer folder and delete just the Razer game scanner entirely. Um, and then even when it updates, it's not going to come back. This is the primary thing that causes like just lag and the mouse to perform like crap. And then the other thing you want to do is make sure that the Razer Chroma SDK server, not service, is disabled. And what this does is like Razer Synapse always has to be connected to the internet for some like stupid reason. And like this is what controls that. So if you disable this, but leave the SDK service. I believe this is for like if you're playing Overwatch on PC and you're playing Reaper, it changes your mouse red to match whatever character you're playing. I believe that's what this one is. I'm not sure if this one is needed for that, but ever since I disabled this and I uh, disabled the, the power thing and the USB and device manager, I haven't had any issues with my mouse except for when I update and it re-enables all these services. So just a quick recap, uh, make sure you have Synapse installed and updated, and then disable Razer Game Scanner or just delete it, disable Razer Chroma SDK server, and uh, make sure your USB uh, controllers and device manager are set to not power down. Okay, so the last thing you can do to fix issues with your Razer mouse is um, you're basically going to clean the laser. So what you're going to do is turn your mouse over, and then for this you'll need a, a Q-tip cotton swab and some isopropic alcohol or rubbing alcohol. And I'm um, doing this one-handed here, so give me a second. You don't want to put the rubbing alcohol on the actual laser. You just want to um, dip the cotton swab in it so that it's nice and wet. And then you're just going to gently clean the inside of the laser in a spinning motion uh, with the cotton swab. Um, you're not, wait, autofocus, maybe, maybe, uh, no. Uh, oh, wait, 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 yeah. 
So you're basically just going to make sure that there's no hair, there's nothing in the laser, and that's what I actually found to fix uh, some issues as well, especially like when I'm in an intense gaming session, I'll just lift the mouse, blow on the laser, get some like hair or whatever it's getting uh, caught on there, and that'll fix it. But that's the last thing you can do to fix um, issues with your Razer mouse. I hope this has helped you out, somebody out there, and uh, if you have any more questions, I'd be happy to answer them, leave them in the comments. And anyways, uh, have a good one. Later.